The 2024 solar eclipse is just days away and there are a lot of excited people that want to see it, including me. Are you ready? I am. I got my glasses that are crafted to meet safety standards for direct solar observations. I recommend that you make sure your solar glasses are properly rated as you wouldn't want permanent eye damage by directly looking at the sun. Upon research, apparently the sun itself is not any more dangerous during the eclipse. Normally, we do not stare at the sun. However, many of us want to look at the sun during the eclipse. Protective eyewear is recommended because many of us will be staring directly at the sun that day. The total solar eclipse will occur on Monday, April 8th, 2024. It will be the first total solar eclipse in almost seven years following the total solar eclipse on August 21st, 2017. The total solar eclipse will cross North America, passing over Mexico, the United States and Canada. The solar eclipse is a spectacular event as it doesn't happen every day. An eclipse is where the moon moves between the sun and the earth and blocks the light of the sun from reaching the earth. I am in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and according to the news, I won't see a total eclipse. However, the moon will be blocking the sun up to 99.9%, .9%, which will still be a phenomenal experience that not seen on a daily basis basis. The sky will darken over the course of a bit more than an hour. My son asked me to go to Niagara Falls, Canada where the total eclipse can be seen. However, they have preemptively declared a state of emergency in anticipation of a massive solar eclipse crowds. Oh my gosh. I would rather stay home to observe my pets and stay away from the traffic and crowds. So I'm not going anywhere near Niagara Falls during the solar eclipse. I'll be at home safe. If you are like me and have pets, especially birds, you may be questioning about safety for your pets. Um, during a solar eclipse, some pets may, and wildlife may become disoriented or anxious due to the changes in light and atmosphere. For outdoor wildlife, they may notice the change in temperature and darkness, but is it's unlikely they will exhibit any unusual behavior. However, animals may seek out their dens if there is total darkness, because it's just gonna turn like really dark. They're gonna think it's night and wanna go to sleep. Otherwise, the sky may look like a dark overcast day, you know, early morning or early evening sky then they won't be affected by that. They might act as normal or kind of wonder why it's dark all of a sudden. Sort of like when it's gonna rain, it gets really dark. The eclipse can be more unsettling for wild birds. The dimming of the sky can mimic behavior at dusk and during early storm formation. So some birds may be less active, go to roost and maybe less activity in the sky during the peak eclipse. Once the sky returns to normal, so does their behavior. Hopefully they're all okay. For pets, keep in mind that our pets don't stare at the sun. So there is no need to keep them inside for an extended period of time unless they are stressed or have vision issues like my dog Oasis who can't see very well when it's darker outside. It's best to keep your pets that are visually challenged indoors during the eclipse to prevent them from becoming like disoriented or frightened by the unusual changes in light. If in total darkness, it's best to have your pets on a leash or carrier if, you know, if you're out and about for safety reasons. For our pet birds, we have artificial lights that can be left on and our birds should be acting normal. If the lights to your home is turned off, then your birds will most likely be more quiet and go to roost when your house gets dark and then will return to normal after the eclipse. If you have a skittish bird, it's best to keep them in their cage during the eclipse, especially if you will have guests over and it's noisy with a lot of excitement going on, as birds can panic and fly into walls or windows if spooked. My bird Synergy in Malibu will for sure be in their cages as they spook easily. It really depends on your bird situation on what you decide to do. Only you know your bird, so do what's best. To help your pets during an eclipse, consider keeping 
the lights on in your home to minimize stress. Keep your pets indoors during the eclipse to prevent them from becoming disoriented or frightened by the unusual changes in light. Create a comfortable and familiar environment for your pets to retreat to during the eclipse. This could be a quiet room with favorite toys, bedding, and water. Close the curtains or blinds. Limit the amount of outside stimulus by closing curtains or blinds to reduce the visual impact of the eclipse. This is especially important for pet birds. Your pets may pick up on your emotions, so remain calm and reassuring during the eclipse to help them feel secure. Keep an eye on your pets during and after the eclipse for any sign of distress or anxiety. If they seem unusually stressed, provide extra comfort and attention as needed. By taking these precautions, you can help ensure that your pets feel safe and comfortable during a solar eclipse. It's hard to know if they can sense that an eclipse is going to happen or while it's happening. It's best to watch the behavior and that is why I am going to be recording my pets during this eclipse and sharing it with you. Let me know in the comments if you are in the path of the total solar eclipse. Click on the video on the screen to see how my birds reacted to the 2017 eclipse. Until next time, happy birding!